So what we're going to do now, uh, and contents, um, we've done that. So let's do the includes now. So what I'm going to do is something I should have done, which is open my other thingy so I can follow those. Okay, so another thing that I've been asked quite a lot is to uh, zoom in as I'm uh, doing the code because it, it screws people up when I don't do that. So I will make sure I do that just now then. So I'm going <laughs> to not make it too big, but uh, okay, so what I'm going to do is I've got, uh, hopefully I've got um, that going on, so include. So that should be uh, include. Um, I'm going to go like that. Scan contents .h. That's the first thing you want. We want to do because we want to uh, access some things that are going to be within scan contents .h. So we're going to do that first thing, and then we're going to create our main. So int main, and this is where our program is going to start. Okay. So I'm not going to be able to run the game as much as I'd like to whilst we're testing this because um, it my computer can't handle it very well doing both things at once so the game will run really slow if I'm recording the overall screen so I have to record the game separately so I'm going to code most of the time and then test it every now and then with you guys hopefully that won't be a problem so what we want to do here is we want to go to scancontents.h and we want to declare a couple of things quickly so we want to include uh, a couple of the libraries that we're going to use for this so include windows.h and that's going to be used for handles and things Include IO stream. We use that to print out some of the uh, useful information that we're going to go across. Like, um, well, you see, I don't want to say, it, I don't want to spoil it for you guys. It's quite a lot of fun stuff. C time, which is a clock that we're going to use later on. Don't have to worry about that. Um, and string, include string. Now that's, yeah. What am I doing? This isn't even quite close to it. There you go. That should be better for you guys. Include uh, string. Okay. Um, yeah, that sounds fair enough. So we've got these. Uh, we include scan contents, uh, contents, which automatically gives us everything that's in there. Okay, so um, we're going to start off by declaring a couple of things that we're going to use later on. So string, game, window. So when we're running this, we're going to need a specific game. Um, so we're just declaring a string to store our game name in. So we're going to ask the person to put the name, uh, or whoever uses it, to put the name of the game in. Okay. So enter uh, game window to trigger bot, and all this does is check if the game is in uh, is on, so we can um, just go ahead and finish typing that. So we can uh, either run the hack or not, because it, if the game isn't running, then we don't really want to uh, run the hack. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say game window equals Call of Duty 4. I mean, when you do this yourself, at the end of it, we will do it so it asks the person for input. Or what the game name is, but so we don't have to do that every time we run it because it will get boring and annoying for you guys. Uh, we'll do it like that, so we'll declare it. And what we'll do here is we'll say std get line. And what this does is grabs the person, the person, uh, whatever they type, so we can check that against um, the actual game windows open. So game window. Oops, that's not right. Um, yeah, so um, a little trick you guys, I'm sure you guys know about it, so I'm going to comment that out just so it doesn't ask for input every time. And I'll do this a lot throughout, is pressing C to L and space bar. What it does is it, it turns IntelliSense on, which auto completes wherever you're writing. So if I start writing game, see, it d does that, it does that automatically for me. So sometimes if there's multiple things, they'll open up with a bunch of choices. Excuse me, so, um, but most of the time it should be. Um, quite useful and it will sh save us time um, so what we're going to do is create hwnd which um, let me just think about that hwnd which I believe is handle I'm not too sure right now because I was a bit confused with um, yeah I'm sure it's a handle anyways this will be used for our app wnd this will be used for our window so if we want to destroy the handle we'll get rid of the the actual variable so find window zero uh, and then we're going to use game window dot c underscore str, and all this is doing is converting it to a char array, uh, okay? A pointer array or whatever. Uh, so we're going to create a rectangle now. And this rectangle will be using, I believe, for client positioning. Uh, I believe we'll be using this one for. Um, I think it's to position our um, our actual hack. I don't quite remember this, as it was. You know something very simple, but I'll know exactly when we are writing the code for it. So while app WND, 
So what we're doing here is we're saying, as long as the window is not open, we keep looking for it, okay? So first thing we're going to do here is a system CLS. Now, many people say this is bad, a bad thing to use, but because this is a fairly simple uh, tutorial, uh, or hack should I say, uh, then it doesn't really matter that much as it's not going to affect anything and it's quite demanding if you have a lot of these around it it will hinder performance but this will only happen at, at the beginning and not when the, uh, the, uh, the hack is actually running so it won't touch the performance uh, of the hack at all Hap WND equals find window so all we're doing is this again pretty much there's no point writing this again just copy that find window so keep looking for that window until it finds it. And then we're going to put some text saying stdc out uh, looking for just so the person knows it's looking for that window and hasn't found it yet. So just get in window. Don't need to put the um, char array there. std and line. Okay. Yep, that seems fair enough to me. And we'll put a little sleep here. And what this will do is it'll make the program wait for another million, a hundred. A thousand milliseconds, which is a second, until running again. So we don't, you know, just spam this because there's no need for it. Um, a thousand, uh, a second is more than enough time to give them to wait for it. Um, and then let's keep doing that. And then we can put a little, um, let's just copy that. Uh, we can just say found, because once it leaves the loop, it means it's found the game. So found game window is and this makes sure we don't make any stupid spam mistakes as well that's the beauty of um, IntelliSense so game window no, 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 that's fine so we're just saying it found the game the game's window so um, so while uh, and then what we'll do is uh, we're going to give them a choice now so while and this won't make sense at first but you'll see in a second add toy so have I declared chosen color yet? I don't think. yeah sorry I forgot to declare a variable here at the beginning so std string chosen color and what we're going to use this is to at the beginning ask your player what color they want to be now I did this hack we could have done this by getting into games memory and um, comparing uh, play different players teams but I didn't want to actually touch the memory in game to avoid any risk of getting banned because I want to I want people to be able to use this for any game okay so and if this is done properly it can be actually quite useful especially when we um, do the aim bot which will be based a little bit on what we've done here but a lot of things will change but when we do the aim bot it's going to be so much different uh, but a lot of the ideas will will be just as useful and we'll be doing the same methods okay so well um, no, no, no. okay okay so what we're going to do while a toy a toy what this does what this function does is as simple as it converts a string to an integer okay or char array sorry um, so chosen color dot c once again we're changing it to um, pretty sure it's a pointer uh, char array but that's kind of irrelevant for what we're doing here um, I should probably know a bit more about this but that's you know I'm sure it's fine um, so yeah so what we're doing is we're saying as long as the number uh, as the chosen color is less than uh, one and greater than I think it's three I think we're only gonna have three options and greater than three, uh, we repeat this. So what we're, we're going to ask the user what they want, what color they want to trigger the aimbot with. So system CLS again. Oops. Uh, CLS. So we'll clear the screen first thing, so it keeps asking for the input. Uh, I will be doing a lot of copy and pasting guys throughout because um, I'm lazy like that. But you guys can do the same. So choose which color to trigger against. Do a little new line there, um, so slash slash, and then we're going to say what options we actually want to give them. So we're going to say one red slash n, which is a new line again, two dot green, and slash n again, and three dot blue. Which slash n, that seems fine. Yep. So we're going to give them three options, so they can use either green. On your own, you can do this um, to whatever you want. Obviously, that's up to you. But I recommend you leave that till the end, so you know you've got the game fully, uh, the bot fully working before you um, add your own colors in. Okay, so 
I'm gonna call an STD get line now. Um, STD get line. I'm gonna go STD CN, and all we're doing once again is storing the contents of um, the person's import into chosen color. So chosen, oops, chosen color. That's fine. Okay, so that seems good to me. So as long as they enter something other than one, two, or three, we um, we force them to put input again. So they can put letters, they can put whatever they want, but that's not going to work. We're going to keep asking them for input. We, you can test this now if you like. It should work just fine. But I'm not going to do that because I don't really feel the need to it. Um, and then what we're going to do is something very simple. Uh, actually, let me check something quickly in my program. Da -da -da -da. Oh yeah, that's fine. So std string color. Um, so I'm just going to declare this variable. And this is something that we can just say here. So if chosen color equals equals one. So if they chose one, we say color equals red. Okay. Else, just copy that. Chosen color equals equals two. Color equals green. I believe it's green. Is that right? Yep. And then we copy it one last time for blue. So, oops, that would have been one like copy and paste fails. That I always do. And then we'll put a system clear screen because, um, well, it, it just needs things up for us. Um, that seems fine. So what we're going to do now is we're going to call SDDC out. I'm sorry about all the key bashing as well, guys. It's just this mic is um, very sensitive. They so trigger bot online. So this is just to tell our our user because obviously we're doing this based on if you want to let your friends try it out or something like that. You know, just I think it's quite cool that you know obviously we all like to code our own stuff. I mean, I don't for myself obviously, but. Um, I'm sure you guys like to code your own stuff as well. Actually, I've got to get rid of this. Don't need that right now. Uh, to shoot, um, and then we're going to put three dots here. Do, 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 put whatever you like, obviously, but this is what I'm going to go with. STD and line. Um, also, guys, um, something I've noticed quite recently is a lot of, a lot of people have been using my um, tutorials, and <laughs> it's quite funny. I find them online all the time, with people using it. So if you do something like that, then... Um, Leave me a PM because I'm always interested in seeing what people do with the tutorials, and um, it makes me quite proud to be honest. And it's quite, quite cool, I think, because <laughs> sometimes I'm doing Google searches and I see uh, my name come up, and it's on on sites as well. So I think it's really good. Um, it's just me being a gay boy, but you know, whatever. Just just send me a PM if you use something. If you like, you know, you don't have to, but just send me a PM. I th I think I'm usually interested in those kinds of things. Um, see what people do with. Um, my tutorials. So get window rect, which is what we're going to do. Get the windows rectangle. So what we're going to do here is so we know exactly where to scan. We're going to grab the window. We're going to make a rectangle out of the window, all right? And we're going to store it in uh, RC client positioning, which is what we declared earlier. Okay. So we got that. Um, that seems fair enough to me. Um, because obviously uh, we're going to take a whole screenshot of the full screen, and we don't want to we don't want to scan the whole screen, obviously. We and we want to know exactly where to go for it, which is at the center of our window where our crosshair is. So then we're going to go create a handle for this. Uh, it's going to be called HTTP equals get DC, and this is what's going to grab our um, our desktop screen. So HWND. So we're saying grab the desktop handle, desktop. I think that's right um, and there's other ways of doing this but that's just the way I chose to do it for you guys here um, just gonna put that there. so int um, starting X and this is going to be where to start our um, our um, scan so do you remember that on the picture that I showed you if I can show you quite quickly now um, bot logic so if I can show you here quite quickly without wasting too much time, this is what we're finding right now. You see this point right here? Sorry, this point here, the first pixel. We're looking for that right now. And we're saying start here and then do everything from there. Okay? So hopefully I'll leave that minimized because we might need that later on um, for another example. So starting X. So obviously this is the across axis, which is X. So RC client. 
positioning. I, I do things, uh, I do such long variables and then I, I regret using such long variables.